Hello and welcome to my Teachable Review where I'm going to be giving you a features demo and then of course talk about some pros and cons and wrap up my Teachable Review with my final thoughts talking about is it worth it. Now before we continue I do want to let you know that Teachable comes with the ability to test them out for free. I will leave my link down below and if you click that you can get your free access and even follow along or just test them out yourself. Let's begin. So given the fact that Teachable is all about helping you create courses, upload them, I'm going to start off with that because that's probably going to be one of the biggest features that you would utilize Teachable for. Where we're going to be on the left side right here, we have courses. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to start from scratch, even though I've done it before, just to show you how quick and easy it is to get it up and running. Let's click on create course. Let's call it the Affilio Blueprint and click on continue, start building, and let's create our first section. Now what's great also about Teachable is that whenever you're creating your first course, you're going to notice that it has the steps for you down below. As long as you follow these steps, you're going to be good to go. And of course, there's going to be plenty of other different sections that you can utilize when it comes to adding more bells and whistles, fine tuning it. And I'll show you those as we continue. Let's create our first section. So here, this is very easy to set up. Think of the sections like chapters and in each chapter, there's going to be specific lessons. So let's call this introduction and click on save. So now that's there. Now what we can do is add our lessons. So we probably want our introduction video. There we have introduction. Let's click on save. And now anytime we want to go here and add something in, we click on the actual link or what we created. And of course, what we can do, we could add some comments or show in public preview. This is going to be good. Say if on your sales page, you want to preview a specific section of the course, you can do that. Let's add our content. And as you can see, we can utilize text and images, videos, PDF viewers, resources, banner images, audio code examples. There is the aspect of using quizzes, which is fun, upsells, referrals, and custom codes. Let's go and utilize video since that's going to be a popular one. And what I want to do is just find a file on my computer and add that in. Okay, so while that video is processing, also what you can do is upload a thumbnail if needed, manage uh, subtitles, and of course add a download link, which is going to be up to you. But I know a lot of course creators, and they usually prefer not to have download links, especially if it's something that's paid for so it doesn't get distributed outside of your course. Also, you can add more content. We had our video, you can do text and images, and anything else that I previously talked about. Now let's go back up and let's go back to our curriculum. And here I'll just show you once again, very easy to do. We have our new section. Let's call this the Affiliate Blueprint Explained. And once again, we would add our lesson here and we can go to save and same thing here, repeating the process, add content, add video, upload in one sec. And of course, let's say we want to add a little bit more content. We can do text and images, you know, description. And let's just do save, looks great. And we can go back. So this is going to be the process that you go through when you're uploading your course. Overall, pretty simple to do. As you can see, we have our sections and inside of those sections, of course, if we want to add another lesson, we can do it that way and then keep going that way. Pretty easy to follow through, right? And what I want to do is to do publish for these. And of course, we don't want to publish that one. And of course, we can do publish there as well. So if we want to preview it, we can do that. I'm just going to give it a few seconds because the videos are still rendering. Aside from that, there's going to be some other great things that we can do when it comes to this course. We have our design templates where you can kind of edit it around. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a ton of them there. There's only a few that you can utilize, but I like the simplicity of this. So I'm just going to do activate. Let's do activate right here. And of course, a few other things like drip, which is going to be nice. Allow me to show you how that's done. So drip feeding is going to be very important in case maybe you want to do a membership where every 30 days something new opens. In order to change that, you would just simply go to set schedule and you could do days after specific enrollment or on a specific date. For example, let's say every 30 days we got a new sections open and this would be an example of that. What we can do is set schedule and just simply go to 30 days. For example, if you had a recurring membership, the next section would be open 60 and then 90 and 120 and so on and so forth. And there we go. So it's been updated. So everything's going to be available right when we get started. And now I quickly want to talk about the Teachable sales pages and overall the checkout page and what you can do with it. If you go on over to the sales pages section, you're going to see that we have our sales page, our checkout page, and our thank you page. One at a time, we're going to click on the sales page here so you can see what it looks like. And in my opinion, this is a pretty basic feature. What you're going to be doing here is utilizing a lot of the page blocks that they have. For example, anything you want to edit or change around, you're going to click on. As you can see, also when I'm highlighting this, or excuse me, when I click on it, it highlights and you can see where you can edit the banner. If I scroll down, it's going to be the same thing with every single block that we have here. For example, if I wanted to add a new block, what I can do is click on there and say we want to add text with image grid, something along the lines of that. 
Now that we added it, what we can do is click on it. And of course, we can change this around. We would change our picture. We would change our example title and so on and so forth. Excuse me, it would be down here. And that's pretty much what you're going to do. On one hand, I love the fact that the Teachable Builder is based around basics and simplicity. But on the other hand, I know there's going to be a few people who might be scratching their heads wondering where a lot of the advanced features, bells and whistles are. And really, that's going to be up to you. If you're looking for a builder that's overall basic and will allow you to get up and running pretty quickly, this is definitely going to be something that you're going to like. On the other hand, it does lack a lot of those advanced features, so don't expect to be doing anything really complex here. Sticking with the theme of basics and simplicity, there is the ability to very easily add pricing plans to this. The reason I want to do this is because you're going to need a pricing plan before you go ahead and upload or change around your checkout page. So we have free one-time purchase payment plans, and yes, you can run recurring payments for subscriptions, which is always a good thing, which goes hand in hand with the drip feed I talked about previously. For this example, I'm just going to go with the one-time purchase. All right, and just as an example, I gave it a price of $97, gave it a name and just copied it for the subtitle and a detailed description. We can limit enrollment by cap or expiration date and time, which is always good if you want to add scarcity to urgency, we can actually stop the amount of sales happening at a specific time. That's great because you don't have to go in and say like, you know, turn off the enrollments. It's great that they have a nice little perk like that. Let's add the pricing plan. All right. And now that that's there, what I want to do is show you the checkout page aspect. So when it comes to the Teachable checkout pages, I love the fact that they are also simple. They look simple. You can change around your branding, your colors of your text, and so on and so forth. Also, another feature that I love with Teachable is the fact that you can utilize either PayPal or card. There's a button that you can turn on or off where you want to have them utilize that. I know from personal experience where if you just have card, you're going to get the people who want to pay with PayPal and you might lose out on some sales. On the flip side, if you have PayPal and someone wants to use card and you don't have it, you might lose out on some sales. So the ability to utilize either or I think is fantastic. Scrolling down, as you can see, not a lot going on here, but there are some edits that you can make to it. Allow me to show you those really quickly. So here we are with the checkout page and what we can do is click on edit. And as you can see, there are going to be a few extra features that we can utilize. For example, there's the option of adding testimonials, right? as you can see right here. There's the ability to add some perks. And of course, if you want to add a 30-day money-back guarantee or some social proof, depending on what it's going to be, you can do that as well. Well, I'm not going to put these in. I'm sure you can see exactly how it looked from the examples. And when you save them, they will show up on your checkout page on the bottom left side of it. So as an example, upon updating, they would go down right here. And I think it's a nice little touch given the fact that it can add a little bit more social proof and give your customers a reassurance about why they were purchasing in the first place by adding some of their biggest benefits or their goals when it comes to taking their course, finishing it, of course, taking action after. And something I want to quickly bring up that I loved about Teachable are their order bumps. This is a fantastic feature when it comes to increasing your sales and revenue. It allows you to add an extra purchase on the checkout page where all they have to do is click add to order, as you can see right here, and it'll be added to their cart so that they can purchase not only your course, but your order bump as well. I did a separate tutorial video showing you how that works in case you want to check that out. But I just wanted to mention it in this video because it's a fantastic feature and I have a feeling a lot of people don't realize how valuable something like this is. Speaking of valuable, there is the ability to utilize Teachable's coaching. What you can do is use this feature so that when they go through, they can pretty much sign up, maybe fill out a few questions, maybe you know see if they're going to be a good fit. And after they're done, you can send them to the checkout page where they can sign up for a coaching with you and they integrate with Calendly. So what they can do is purchase, get taken to the calendar that's embedded on Teachable, and then of course you can go from there. Allow me to quickly show you how this works. We have Marketing Island Coaching. And this is a great way to get started. So if you want no intake form, you can use that. You can have an intake form where maybe they fill out a question or two. And of course, there's the ability to utilize that with approval where you can be very strict on who you want to get coaching from. So you have to prove them before they can check out. So that's a great way if you really want to narrow down on who your coaching clients are going to be. But for this example, I'm going to go with intake form. Okay, it can be free, one-time purchase, payment plan, or subscription. We'll go with the one-time purchase. And for this, once again, normally you're going to give it a name, a subtitle and description. Obviously, that's something you would fill in and we can utilize these settings if wanted, but that looks good for now. Let's click on next. OK, and what's going to happen is it's going to give a milestone. So usually you want to do this right up front. So what happens is after they paid, they get taken to their first milestone. And what you can do is add that calendar in there. Allow me to show you how it's done. Let's click next. So here's going to be the first milestone where you say welcome, make sure you schedule a call with me at your best time. This is considered something that's going to be pretty much what's shown after they purchase. So we can add scheduling, we can use a calendar, and then of course we can add our calendar link and click on next. Great. So it's been created. Let's click on continue. And just to give you an idea, I'm going to hit publish here. 
And same thing, I'm gonna go here. Obviously, this is gonna say the name, and this is what we would change around with the first milestones. Make sure you schedule a call with me at your best time. And of course, going there, we're gonna have the time where you can do that. So pretty cool to have that little benefit in there. Aside from that, I do wanna quickly talk about the Teachable integrations. When it comes to the integrations, there's not gonna be a ton of them, but enough to help you out in the process. So if we go here, you can see that there's gonna be plenty with third party. I'm gonna click on that very soon, but you have Zapier. You can automate email user unsubscriptions and email service providers with Teachable. And of course, with webhooks, we can get a little bit more fancy, but here are some of the third party integrations in case you were curious about them. What I'm gonna do is just kind of keep this up. If you wanna pause it, you can do that, but those are some of those in case you were wondering what they're gonna be about. Then of course we have the teachable payment gateways. Now with this, Stripe is gonna be one of the biggest ones. Obviously that's gonna be with the using cards. And of course we have PayPal as well. I talked about that on the checkout pages, how you can utilize both. I think that's a fantastic option to give your customers more options so they can choose the one that's gonna work best for them. And of course there is the aspect for uh, Apple Pay and Google Pay. And there's some additional resources if you wanna look into teachable pay, but these are gonna be the primary methods right here when it comes to payment gateways. Okay, and one thing I wanted to do is give you a preview of a Teachable course, you know, an example, just to show you what it looks like. So I forgot to do that because the videos were rendering. So let's click on introduction, as you can see here. What I'm gonna do is simply click on play. Hey, it's James Canzanella, and thank you so Okay, and don't forget that you can change around a lot of the branding and the colors. This is just something that I happen to use for this. Once your students are done, they can click on complete and continue, and it shows the 50%. And of course, this is gonna be the next video. And as you can see, a description goes here about the video. That's something I added in. You could obviously add in your eBooks, you can embed videos. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. So overall, that's gonna give you a pretty good teachable demo and overview of what they have to offer. So let's now talk about some of the teachable pros and cons. So the first thing I want to bring up is that Teachable has been around for a good amount of time. I quickly searched for it and I believe it's 2013. So one thing I do want to bring up that you might not realize is that Teachable has stood the test of time with so many software tools out there and platforms. This is always a phenomenal thing. They've been consistent. They've been growing. They've been building their team. And that's something you always like to see because you know that they're going to have quality support and service to go along with the platform that they have. That's a good thing. Next, when it comes to more of how they work, I would would say that Teachable is overall pretty seamless and simple when it comes to creating courses, to editing your checkout pages, and of course, some of the builders as well. And that's usually a very good thing. I don't think you're going to be ripping your hair out with this. You don't have to be a super tech ninja to get this any of this to work. And that's also another great thing. Something else I like about Teachable is that they have some great bells and whistles, especially when it comes to increasing your income. I did talk about the order bumps. I think that's a phenomenal feature. There is the ability to add upsells. You can sell coaching. You can bundle courses if you want. So there's plenty of ways to help make more money with your courses and of course your knowledge and expertise. On the other hand, there are going to be some teachable cons. One of the biggest things I noticed is that there is no community feature. This is something that seems to be becoming more and more popular when it comes to online course platforms. So unfortunately, if you happen to have a need for that, they did miss the mark there. They don't have a community feature. I would love for them to see something like that. You do have the ability to set up a community with Teachable, but it is going to be using a third-party platform. So that's something just to keep in mind. I thought that that was a big miss there. It would be nice if they had it, but at the time of creating this, it's going. that's just going to be the way it is, right? So... And the other thing I came up with is the fact that the Teachable Builder is overall a little bit basic or bland. Well, me personally, I love simplicity where there's not a whole lot going on there. I know there's going to be a few people who want a little bit more, especially when it comes to advanced features. But nevertheless, when it comes to wrapping up this Teachable review, I think they are a very seamless and simple platform. And they're also a great choice for course creators who just want their students to get everything that they want and so much more plus the ability to set up your courses pretty quickly and easily while having multiple features and bells and whistles to increase your profits. And of course, do more with your courses makes Teachable a great choice, especially for the fact that they've been around for so long and they seem to be doing so well. They're gonna be a great option, not only for you, but also helping your students succeed. So that should just about do it when it comes to my Teachable review. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you do wanna test them out, I will leave my link down below where you can try them out for free. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.